Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Screen, episode number three. This week we are talking all about video. So of course, Erin is going to be quizzing me this time because it's not just video like YouTube stuff, we're talking more equipment. So, take it away. Okay, so, first question is what is a, what is Kelvin? Kelvin is my brother-in-law. <laughs> that is true. What is a, a Kelvin? What is, I guess, a degree a of Kelvin? Kelvin. Uh, Kelvin is the, uh, is the degree of measurement for your color temperature in your room. So, so like the lighting. Yes. So right now we are in a warmer Kelvin. Um, but like, uh, you know, your led bulbs, unless they're soft white, but that bright white, uh, led bulb is a higher degree of Kelvin. The wider you get, the whiter the color temperature, the higher in Kelvin. Um, the warmer, the more yellow, um, that kind of thing, that's a, uh, a warmer Kelvin or a lower number on the Kelvin scale. Gotcha. So, so, so that matters for video because how you want it to look. If you want it to look more homey, if you want it to look more um, not laid back, but just sort of a warm glow to your videos. Um, you want a lower degree of Kelvin, so that's the bulbs you would get for um, your lights if you have studio lights, or that's the room you want to shoot in if that's the one look you want. But if you want a brighter look, if you want a wider look, um, if you've got that beautiful white wall behind you and you want it just to just to look amazing, you want a brighter bulb or a um a higher degree of kelvin when you look for light bulbs that kind of thing so. gotcha which speaking of we are not in our home office no. we're actually in aaron's work yep so that's why the lighting is, is different, different and the background is different yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i have to work late um but we wanted to do this video shoot so. yeah so um so is there any particular place that I should like that we should buy these light bulbs. Does it matter if we buy them at like Walmart or Home Depot or Amazon? No, no. Uh, just be sure to look. Every light bulb package will tell you what um, if it's warm or bright. And there will be if you look on the side, there will be a little uh, scale of where it is on the Kelvin scale, and it will be you know lower um, on the scale for warm yellow and higher five thousand six thousand. Kelvin for that bright white. Gotcha. So it'll be on every bulb. Oh yeah. well, um, LED and I think I think it's pretty across the board. It'll be on every bulb. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do you have a preference for warm or bright? Like I like the bright white. Me too. Yeah. I do. Too. Yeah. LED. Um, okay. So. So all right. So next, sticking with the video and how you want your videos to look. Um, what is the rule of thirds? If it's the same as the rule of thirds in design, it's yeah. then, I mean, I don't know if I'll get this exactly, but you want to place things in a third, like you want to frame things in thirds usually. Yes. Or put them in the like third the column or quadrant, third row, right. quadrant, whatever. So it's similar, um, but in the video world, imagine cutting, let's see if I can do this, Cutting your video screen in thirds. So we got one third right here, and then so another line here. So that, that gave you three levels vertically. And then do the same thing right here. He's like, like a Jedi I'm cutting like, the I'm screen. I'm like blessing the screen here. <laughs> so you, you have those three different lines, that, or three different quadrants there, and three different quadrants here. And generally, as a rule of thumb, another rule of thumb is you want to put your eye line or um, a message or something that you want the person to see in one of those thirds. Gotcha. Um, so, like, something in the middle of the screen, eh, it's no. not really, I mean... It's kind of awkward. Yeah, very rarely. Think, think of movies. Very rarely do you see someone in the very direct center of the screen? And if if they are that way, then it's for something 
are they important or sad or well something? this is interesting yeah. because my youtube videos i'm in the direct center of the screen it is very interesting <laughs> i'm just saying it's a rule of thumb it's not the th rule so i should go back because at one time my videos used to be i used to be like on this side of the screen yeah so... i mean that's again it's just personal preference and and it's just it's just a a, a video thing um yeah it, it's how you want your videos to look yeah. so if you if you want that and that and that being in the center is a very youtube thing yeah, it's a very it, it is a very youtube thing. uh youtuber um sort of vlogging thing and that's fine um not saying that it's wrong i'm just saying if you look at other videos um or other movies tv Anything shows like the news the news, the newscaster on location is not usually standing in the very center of this the shot. Kind of, yeah, they are. Not really. They're usually Sometimes. off to the side, and you can see some uh, random oh, building true. off to the side. Like something's on fire, right. or and then the somebody's... guy pans over to some government building. You know, <laughs> so yeah. So that's the rule of thumb, or the the rule of thirds. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, it is similar to design because mm -hmm. you don't want anything like in the direct center right like when i was making a flyer for my sister i didn't put like the title in the dead center correct you know i put it towards the top but yeah yeah interesting things to think about exactly so thank you guys for joining for this other episode of behind the screen um thanks for quizzing us yep. on video and often. If you don't agree, let us know. If you agree, <laughs> let us know. We'll talk about it. Yep. Otherwise, we will see y'all next time.